Hey guys, welcome back to Rated RPG. Ray here, and we are talking about that thing that we just don't really want to talk about yet. Do I mean, do we? And that is Naughty Dog and what their next game might be. Whatever else we might think, whatever else the general consensus on the internet is, Naughty Dog is a good studio. But right now we're having one of those I used to love you situations where we wish the best for our ex, but at the same time we kind of want them to fall down a deep dark well or get hit by a car or something like that. You know what I'm talking about. So, The Last of Us Part 2 happened. That was a thing which kind of broke the internet. Now Metacritic has had to go the way of Rotten Tomatoes on how you are able to verify and have to wait a certain point in time before you can submit a user review. That's, it was bound to happen. There were review bombs, there were review uh, reverse bombs, brigades, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, positive and negative. But now, Naughty Dog has said, in, in so much words, that they are getting ready to work on their next game. Their next big project for the PlayStation 5. See, they've announced that they're hiring, they're hiring... Uh, me- Let's see. Let's see what positions they are hiring for. They're hiring animators. They are hiring do, 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 melee and gameplay animators. They are hiring level and environmental designs. They are ha- hiring tools programmers. All of which mentions next gen graphics, next gen analysis, next gen etc., next gen animation in the job listing. So they're probably going to take a breather, drink some champagne. They sold a lot of copies of the game after all. But then they're going to move on and they're going to make their next game. What will it be? Who knows? It's hard to say. But if some people, journalists, for example, had their way, The Last of Us Part 3 would be the thing that comes out. In several of these articles I've looked up already, there are many a journalist who are saying, well, Neil Druckmann hasn't committed to anything yet, but, of course, <laughs> he, he, is, uh, he is the master. No, I can respect Neil Druckmann as a creator because it is different saying something versus actually doing something. There are many of us out there who say the game should have gone this way, the game should have ended this way. It's different, though, actually getting into the industry and doing. So you always have to give the doers credit where credit is due. But at the same time, I do not like what he did. The end product is not something that I can respect. Now, if Naughty Dog's next game is The Last of Us Part 3, I think that would be a huge misstep because we just had Part 2, for goodness sake. I don't know if I can handle... The emotional roller coaster of a part three already. I think we need time. Yes, the next game probably wouldn't be out for let's say conservative three, three to four years, but the internet has a long memory when it wants to, specifically the gamer community. Yes, many of us have these uh, 20 minute memory spans of goldfish when it comes to certain things, but when you fuck with our beloved characters and icons, People remember that shit. So, three to four years, I don't think it would be enough time, honestly, for people to get over and internalize what has happened here with The Last of Us Part Two. I just don't think it can work. Now, if Naughty Dog was to move on, do something other than Uncharted, other than The Last of Us, I think that would be much better received. A blank slate, new characters with no preconceptions on how they're going to be handled, I think that would be a better direction to go because, I mean, The Last of Us won. Great game. Neil Druckmann worked on that. I know he wasn't the only writer, but he worked on it. Great game. Uh, The whole Uncharted franchise, I know Amy Hennig worked on all of those and she is no longer with the company, but she was not the only one working on that so at least somebody at Naughty Dog knows what they're doing right hopefully so the question is what is Naughty Dog's next game going to be
I think it would be a terrible decision for it to be Uncharted 3. I just think that would be terrible because nobody is ready for that, I think. Because think about it. Ad campaigns would have to start a reveal, would have to be inbound within two, two and a half to three years. People are going to be pissed about part two for a long time, I think. And once the ad campaign starts year, year and a half before the game even comes out, that's plenty of time for people to get there enraged again. <sighs> I'm depressed just even talking about Naughty Dog. This is sad. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to drop one there because I'm lonely. All right, so thanks for jo thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. And I'll catch you next time. Like, comment, subscribe, bell icon for notification. I appreciate it. Later. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in to Rated RPG. I appreciate you checking out the channel. Be sure to hit that like button if you liked what you saw, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon for notifications so you can get all the latest updates from Rated RPG.